Hey you guys, it's Eugene Merman. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So you guys know him from the Comedians of Comedy Tour, HBO's Flight of the Concords, Adult Swim's Delocated, and most recently, and excitingly, his voice from Bob's Burgers. Yes. Yay. Have you ever answered um, tweets and people's YouTube questions in a live comedy show before? No. I thought maybe you didn't and or hadn't and that you'd be a little nervous, so that's why, you know, yeah, yeah. just imbibe all you want. Yeah. Oh, it's one thing to talk to someone in person, but it's very nerve-wracking to answer tweets. Yeah. Exactly. It's live. I yeah. Mean, they it's said, a they, live tweet as opposed to getting like 30 seconds to be like, to, like yes, to I will it. be. Exactly. Yeah, really... So, yeah. Get up in there. Yep. Um, okay. So I, let's talk about Bob's Burgers first, which is coming up in its third season. With, with it has awesome guest stars this yeah. season. Nick yeah, yeah, Offerman and Zach Galifianakis. Galifianakis. Yes, like that? Zach did it. Uh, Aziz, um, Kevin Klein's a regular. Bill Hader's on it. Yeah, it's great. It's been good. So you play a young boy named Gene. I do Jean. a young a young boy named Gene. Do you think that is as, as being an adult man? Is that like? Are you tapping into your inner child, or do you, like I do, I still think I'm an adult woman, but I think of myself as a kid often. Yeah, you, I like, just think of myself as a, as, a, as a child that's allowed to drink and no one thinks it's weird. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if I, I mean, when you do it, it's like, you, uh, you're, uh, anyway. That's a good answer. Is that is the best like, answer? Is it like your inner child, or is it like, do you think of yourself sometimes as a child? I, I think there's two separate things. I think of myself as a child, and then I'm acting and pretending to be a child in a cartoon. That's why I was having trouble answering, because it was right. like two things. No, I don't like access like a childlikeness <laughs> of myself. I it, like go into a child zone. I think yeah. we're all acting. Yeah, that's probably just, best. Just like when someone plays, say, like a sexual offender on Law and Order, they don't go like, well, this is what I've always wanted to do. <laughs> And I'll access that part that's of me that hope. secretly wants to brutalize strangers. But so many of those Law and Order actors, you know, they do. They don't go on to do other things. You never know. If oh, I meant like when, like when Robin Williams is a guest star. He totally went on to do Saving Private no, too. <laughs> right. A lot of stuff. It's true. He did go on to do. He had, he's doing all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get into your Twitter questions. First up is a tweet, and it is from that guy Bab. Okay. Ask him to run for president the same way he ran for student body president. Then ask him about the latter. Well, as an immigrant, I can never run for president of the United States. Um, but I, I can run that. for president of my class as a kid in high school. And did you? I did. I was very unpopular, and I thought it would be funny. And I was right. It was very funny. And I came very close to winning. I was like 20 votes away from having to organize stuff now. So it's great that I lost. But I learned an important lesson about trying and doing crazy things and having it be fun. Did, did you almost get get close to winning because you underestimated your popularity or because no, of a funny no. campaign? No, no. Because I changed. No, I was not. Un I was so unpopular, but it flipped. It oh, went. Okay. I was infamous. Like, uh, and s no, my a friend of mine came up with a slogan for me that was, "It's not just a change; it's a mutation." <laughs> And so we put posters all over school that said that and like other sort of weird, ridiculous things. And I wrote, I recently found out like a speech that's crazy, like that you would write what you promised. And I think I just promised to play like slightly better music. Like I promised to play like the Jesus and Mary chain at dances or something. That's uh, cool. So yeah. That sounds like you are in your Kickstarter campaigns for Eugene Merman Comedy Festival, all yeah. the different things you promised people. Those things we did, because that's like you become bound to do those. Yeah, we yeah. promised an awkward party bus and we had one. And you delivered. We delivered. We promised to put people's names in the program and say that they're racist, and we did that. <laughs> Good. You gotta stick to it when there's money involved. Mm -hmm. uh, next tweet is from Urifinci. Yep. If you had to choose one of Bob's kids as your own, who would it be and why? Well, um, I would say possibly Gene, because right. he's so fun and <laughs> yeah. adorable and, and a common. goofball. You seem very similar to being your son. It'd be a very natural feeling, I'm sure. Yeah, and then also Louise, because it'd be like, who doesn't want a child that's like a bit of an evil genius? And, you know, a kind-hearted evil, so a little bit of a malicious genius. Yeah. All right, so we're going to come right back to answer some more of your questions. I'm going to fill up Eugene's drink a little bit. And here's a video from a fellow New York comic, John Friedman. It's the John Friedman Internet Program.